Hello there. Uh, my name is Gabriel Silva, and this is my creative piece for entrepreneurial marketing. So, entrepreneurial marketing, I would consider to be the practices that stray away from the traditional sides of marketing, such as above the line and below the line promotion. For example, radio and newspapers. These new forms of marketing, with recent developments, are far more innovative and require companies to be more complex in the manner they appeal to the consumer. It's basically a specific niche within an industry with a new innovation. So my chosen company for entrepreneurial marketing is Compare the Market. They're a price comparison website, online goods all over the internet and have affiliation with many large and small companies globally with the aim to save consumers money across a range of products. I now intend to put forth the phenomenon of Compare the Market's marketing thing, which has been so successful it's actually led to the innovation of another separate business called Compare the Maker. So Compare the Market was founded by the South African owner Do It Stewart in 2007. It's part of the BGL Group, which is a financial services and insurance company. The firm's major success came in 2009 on the back of a very successful advertising campaign, which led to a complete rebranding of the company. This led to the birth of the Meerkat character that we all know and love, Alexandra Orlov. It's a complex, amusing Russian aristocrat that is urging viewers to not be confused between compare the market and compare the Meerkat. Um, so the three techniques are using anthropomorphism, sponsorships and the word of mouth marketing. So one entrepreneurial technique used is the word is the word of mouth effect of the meerkat toy and the TV app, as well as the comments, reviews, likes and dislikes across social media platforms which allow the company to engage with customers and review their own performance. This allows compare the market to expand and bring in different characters on Twitter, Facebook and with their own website with them updating their statuses daily. Thus a whole family has been created by Alexandra having two baby meerkat uh, meerkats Sergey and David Olek. One, one of the evident reasons for their success with, is with the viral nature of their ads is that within the price comparison industry, more than 80% of the 85 million in the market was spent on TV advertising, according to TNC. So, however, 95% of compared to market marketing budget was spent on TV ads, which accumulated to 13 million. Thus, they've completely utilized their marketing towards TV ads. Refer to reference one. So, another feature is the iSimples app, which I think allows users to uh, speak into it with a voice and it automatically changes with the voice of Alexander. Very, very, very clever and it's fair to say this wouldn't have been possible without the popular nature into the Mirka ad and this favourite catchphrase, Simples. Thus, the benefits of word of mouth are that it allows the firm to engage and be more interactive with the customer. This as well as the reliability, effectiveness and trust that is gained with gaining information from simply to, uh, having the public talking about your service or product. So another one of the entrepreneurial techniques that is that they've made on advertisement is with a character that has no relevance to the insurance industry or price comparison website. It's just purely based on anthropomorphism. So this can be, could be considered to be the secret to the popularity of the app. But the fact that Alexander has attributions of human form to a very cute meerkat is considered to be personification and rooted through history, which means that uh, this toy, that this habit naturally can appeal to society. However, they give their toys out to all uh, to all the customers, especially because they give all the toys out to all the customers. I mean, this make it ad has led to a surge in popularity of TV ads and sports to, uh, to boost their ad spend, which usually would be considered to be a traditional form of marketing. However, this form of marketing has led to an overall increase in the amount of spending on advertising in the industry. In 2006, 35 million was spent on ads from Paris, Paris websites, where by October 2009, the sector spend was about 85 million across the Guardian. So, uh, from the November 2012, compared to the American and sponsorship deal with Coronation Street, um, it is amazing. It led to a whole host of characters visiting the famous street and doing the adverts. It's evident how the brand of Alexander and the Mirk is adaptable and customizable and has been relevant for us by presenting in such a manner in everyday soaps. By using this kind of PR, it associated the Mirkats with everyday family lives whilst endorsing themselves using Coronation Street. This was originated from the orienta uh, family orientation culture within the brand of the Meerkats. As Meerkats in the wild travel in families, and it's been being relevant to ourselves. However, on the other hand, there is an argument that by flourishing such advertisement, such a broad variety of subjects can lead us to being overwhelmed by the Meerkat and his friends, which can result in adverse effects. Uh, a similar situation happens to the Go Compare, our beloved opera singer, having 2,000 official complaints due to the annoying nature of his ad, according to the Guardian. There's also been negative publicity regarding Compare the Market, where they had um, people could use their privacy, people could see anyone else's privacy details, um, and this caused the critics to quote simples and how easy it was to access more privacy details. However, compared to their competitors such as Money Supermarket, 
uh, they're not doing so well, seeing as they've only got 0 0.304 monthly hits compared to Money Supermarket's monthly hits, which is 4 million. Uh, refer to reference free. So one of the recommendations that I've made for digital entrepreneurship is that they should create a game, uh, a village of meerkats, and they could have the meerkats strategically growing up. It could be a very good kids game. It could it actually result to all ages, and it could be a different type of market for them to aim at a niche market. Another idea is that they can make an online party. Um, so they could have this on Nickelodeon, a bit like SpongeBob SquarePants, that kind of thing. Meerkats having kids watching it, meeting the parents be watching it, thus getting their brand out there that little bit more. Um, so since the market, uh, the Meerkat campaign started, the company's value has gone more than doubled, with a staggering increase from 43 million in 2008 to 88 million in 2012, according to the Mail. This justifies the success of entrepreneurial marketing. Compare the Meerkat as a fantastic example of the digital context that engages customers and generates a buzz in entrepreneurial techniques. Thank you for watching and simples.